Hello, hello, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to Mateo's Corner. We are here with more uh, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. And, uh... I don't remember what we were supposed to do. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to go this way. So, um... I just realized... Um, oh, wrong button. I, I realized last time I was playing that I didn't really get a chance to really discuss a few things that I started talking about, and then I just kind of didn't. So, um, I am a fan of Scooby-Doo. I, I do like the series. I'm not as huge of a fan as some other people, but I do really like it. Um, a lot of the movies are fun, and um, I also enjoy uh, some of the games. So, uh, the other thing, though, I wanted to talk about was that uh, they actually... I, I can't show it due to copyright. But they actually have... That's weird. Why did they play the laugh track when I... Whatever. Um, ew, spiders. Go away. Uh, so, they actually play this int the intro to the show, like, remade with the game's graphics and some assets from the game. And it's really cool, but I can't show it because, again, copyright for some of the stuff. As, as games go, this is a really decent... Oh, this is a really decent one. You know, I mean, like, seriously, that there's a lot of times when they make up... A... Oh, it's werewolf, guys. Kind of useless, they just kind of pace back and forth, but all right. Um, but yeah, when they make these... Oh. Hello! Hello! That voice is amazing. I know he's here somewhere. He, you'll never find me. I'm hiding. It's funny that, like, I thought there was a sneak button. Hello! Hello! That's so funny. Did she go back to sleep? She's just gonna sit there? Ah, I guess so. Whatever. Um... Can I get it? No. So... Oh, the zombie. He, he walks really fast. Wow, okay. I couldn't even outrun him. But yeah, this, um... This game's really good, like... Like, people don't really expect a game of Scooby-Doo to be decent. Like, I mean, they expect it to be decent, but they don't expect it to be, like, this, like, jaw-dropping, amazing game, which I don't when I play these games. My thing is, as long as it's fun, that's what matters. As long as I'm having a good time playing it. And... Oh, the plunger. Oh, that's right. Is there something down here? No. It's just in case we fall. Wait, can I get up here? Or is it, like, literally too slippery? Yeah, it's too slippery. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Where the heck did you come from? So, is that a thing out here? No. Okay, cool. I almost died. <laughs> I thought I could jump out. So... It's a rombie. No, stop it. Go away. Go away! I got his thinking pose. He's trying to, like, listen for you. I really need that helmet power up, man. I really do. Oh, it's him. It's our friend. Hello, Scooby-Doo. Here are two of the professor's inventions. The slippers and the lampshade. You can use... Whoa, well, now you give it to me? You can use the slippers to sneak quietly past monsters by pressing the Z and R button at the same time. You could also use the lampshade to hide from monsters by holding Z at the same time while standing still. Use your new lampshade and slippers to avoid the zombie hiding in that urn. Wow, okay, so... Let's see. Z and R? Wow, that's 
I don't like that button placement at all. That's terrible. That's really cumbersome. I, I don't like it. I don't like how it's Z and R. I, that's, no, I don't like it. It's weird design. What the heck? Plant breath. See if I can get it before they, yeah, okay. There we go. Can I go up here? I gotta time this. I, okay, little, ow, what the heck? The little, um, thing here. I do like how they made the Scooby Stacks. Instead of being, like, a health item or whatever, they actually made it, like, a legit, like, money system. I, I do kind of enjoy that idea. Can I jump up here? It really looks like I can. Wow. All right, whatever. Oh, that's a shaggy. Yeah, that's a that's a shaggy um, statue. That's funny. They're all shaggy, huh? There we go. Oh, it's the Scarecrow from that one. Okay, so another thing. So this monster is actually from one of the, uh, like I said, that guy that gives us um, advice. Oops. The Rombie. Uh, he, the Scarecrow was from, oh, he's thinking, he's like, hmm. look at that face. He's like, hmm, I wonder. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Come on, do it again. Yeah, he's like, huh. Oh. I wonder he's thinking that's really funny uh, But yeah, the uh, the scarecrow was from another uh, one of those celebrity crossover um, Episodes, I don't remember which one it was but um, I do remember it exists. I've seen it my sister and I watched it It's funny now that I've watched a little bit more scooby-doo in the last like year or so I'm realizing a lot of these characters now that I never realized before. Oh, I can't jump over that. There we go. Nope, don't need it. Okay. It's funny how I'm finding all these Scooby Snacks and I really don't need them. Like, honestly, I, I don't think I've needed to use them for anything. Oh, it's our boy Shaggy! Hi, Shags. How you doing? Whoa, you almost ran me over. Hey, Scoob! Better hop on quick! This thing has a mind of its own! Okay, Shaggy. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's to get across, I see. That's cool. Okay. Oh no! Back on, Scoop. It's nice that they actually like wait for you. Also, it's nice that it's not a one-hit KO thing. Because I'm sure people would mess that jump up a lot, as you clearly saw me do. No! Come back, Shaggy. There we go. Oh, oh, whoa, hi, whoa, hello. Oh good, they gave me a sandwich. Sandwiches. Do you need those sandwiches? Good for health. Good for the body and the mind. Is that it? We're done? Nope. Oh, jeez, okay. I wonder if that statue was a reference to something. Shaggy! Wow, okay, that dude's just doing his job here. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, I don't think it took him out. Darn. That'd be funny. I wonder if that's, like, the dragon from Ghoul School. For a reference to it, at least. Oh, yeah, fireballs. Lovely. 
sandwich. Come on, Scoop. Let's get going. I've been doing this, Shaggy. I've been going. I don't actually think I need Shaggy for this part. There we go. Oh, he's just gonna sit there? Okay. Ritz a warp gate? Oh, there he goes. Uh, it's kind of funny though because um, I don't think I really need to have him at the start again because I'm I'm here now. Man, I can't wait to get those uh, legit um, power ups. Ah, I will definitely save my game. Thank you. It's been a while. Gotten a lot of damn Scooby snacks. Oh, hang on. I can't go that way because I don't have that. But can I go this way? Nope. Not yet. Okay. I, I can speak Scarecrow, apparently. wonder if he wants a brain. What? Oh. I didn't even see those archers. How did that guy even hit me? Come on, game. Oh, okay. What is the point of going up and down, game? What is the point? What is the point? Nothing over there? No, nothing over there. Okay. Oh, I see what they want me to do. They, they, they want me to jump. Oh, wow, okay. That's cheap. That's really cheap. And there's an enemy. Alright, uh. Gotta find some sandwiches. Wait, then how do you get up there? Wait a second, can you actually get up there? Hang on, now I'm actually curious. Oh, poor Scooby, he gets more scared when he... when he, uh... loses health. Alright, so let's see here. No, you can't, so that... Oh, come on, really? You're gonna make me start here? Oh, it's just rats. Oh, cake. I'll take the cake. Chitin? I like chitin. What else you got? Oh, no. Oh, uh, this must be a shortcut, maybe, if you have the... I don't know. That's weird that they made me start all the way back here, though. That kind of sucks. Also, how are you supposed to make that jump if you can't actually, um... Like, seriously though, like, how, how is one supposed to make that jump to get to the other side if I can't jump high enough? Hey, look, it's right there, but yet there's no way... Okay, game. I wonder if there's another way to get there. Maybe I was just dumb and I, I should have checked another part. <laughs> No health? Darn. Oh, jeez. It is funny, though, that they tell you how to sneak past enemies, but then it's like, oh yeah, well, you, you don't actually get that power-up until, like, way later in the game. At the beginning. It's kind of weird. Health? Yeah. Can I kill the bat? I think I can hurt bats. Ah, well, the bats can hurt me. Yes, I can. I thought so. Alright, good to know. Good to know. They're giving me a lot of Scooby Snacks, though. Like, for real. Kinda surprised. Sandwich? I'll take Sandwich. Oh, I don't need Sandwich. Someone's running around everywhere right now. Oh, thank goodness there's a warp gate. Gosh. Alright, let's go.
I have not found anything new. Like, goodness. It's a rare wolf. I wonder, can I dig here? He's not gonna hurt me? Perfect. Uh, could go that way, but let's try this way. Oh. Can I please... There we go. Oh, huh, so this is yet another area that... Oh, I probably have to, like, jump on the enemies somehow. Probably a power-up later. Alright. It's a bummer. Oh yeah, look at that! The treetops have this whole thing going on. Look at that. Up there. Ah, it's weird. Oh, come on, I just wanted the sandwich. The soap box will replenish your soap bubbles when you find the- Ah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. I can't even get up there. Oh, come on. It didn't even hit me. Oh, so now we got a werewolf chasing after me? Oh, no, he's not the whole time? That's a bummer. Okay. Gosh, what the heck? That's gonna hurt me, huh? Oh, it didn't. I had a feeling it was. It'd be nice to get a new invention that's actually useful. Maybe. And the last useful one was what, like, the shovel? Or no, sorry, the springs. Those plants are irritating me. Like, no joke. Just the fact that they start spewing that really game. Oh. There we go. Can we just agree, though, that this is a giant hedge maze? Like, holy cow. Who has the time? To deal with all this. Yeah, so you clearly have to use him. Hmm. Keep thinking that maybe. Oh, there's the helmet. Ah, that's where we get it. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is the, um, to unlock the other area. Here, let's just do this. There, we got the warp gate. So if we use this now. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. It also tells you what you... I do like, though, how it tells you what you missed in that area. Okay. Okay. Hello! Please don't hurt me. Okay. Let's go get the helmet first, and then we'll go to that other area. Oh, I did it! Yay! Pro strats. So now I gotta jump down. What the heck? God, the... I'm trying to get these angles right to get the spoons next is a nightmare. There we go. Chompity chomp. Guess I know I need the helmet. I'm gonna go get it right now. Oh, come on. Jeez. I like how they place these enemies in an area where, like, it's really hard to not get hurt. There it is. The professor's helmet invention. Now you can bash objects and monsters. Perfect. Oh, look at all the using. Look. Our first victim. Our first victim. 
Yes, I feel I feel powerful. Let's get this guy. Uh, or we can scoot past him. That works too, actually. I am totally fine with that. Oh wait, no, no, don't get cocky, Matt. Get cocky. There we go. Crash that. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this takes. Yeah, this takes us back to part one. Ah, here we go. This was that gate that opens from the other side. That's cool. So now we've done a. Let's, let's see. So now we've done a full circle. We've actually legit done a full circle. So now, let's go get that monster token. Here we go. Oh, I feel so powerful with this thing now. I don't have to run away from the enemies. Let's go get that witch that, that was up here. Huh. Okay. That the animation of her disappearing is great. Get up. Okay, so there's nothing in the air yet. We can't, there's no like stomp or whatever. I think that one is later. And no, I'm not going to be doing the whole uh, level again. I just wanted to see if there was stuff that I missed. But no, I think we're good here. So let's go back. So we need to go to... Actually, if I keep going this way... Now, because then I'd have to do that thing with Shaggy again. That would take forever. Oh! Mm. Alright. Let's see. Back the way we can. Not get hit by enemies would be nice. I like how the monsters are super imposing, and then you hit them with a football helmet, and they're just like, Oh no, my weakness! <laughs> oh, I almost didn't make that jump. That would be bad. Okay, good. So now that opens back up. Yeah, okay. Cool. Now we're back here. Let's see, did, did we need to go to... Okay, so this is really cool. Um, before we do anything, I'll, I'll show you guys this. Um, this is called the Monster Gallery, and it's basically... This is to watch... Yeah, so once you get snacks in an area, you get pictures to look at, and then you can also look at cutscenes. But it's like a wax museum, and when you get the monster tokens... Oh, that was a weird sound. Uh, when you get the monster tokens for a character, they show up in this place. And there's actually quite a lot of them uh, hidden in the game. There's a lot of enemies. That's why it's called Night of a Hundred Frights, because I think there are actually a hundred enemies in this game. Oh wait, I think we got this one. Let's see. Yep. The Headless Spectre. Haunted House Hang-Up Mystery. Uh, okay, so yeah, this basically tells you what episode it's from and everything. So this is uh, the Haunted House Hang-Up. Mystery Inc. encounters a Headless Spectre after entering an eerie house. Uh, ooh, trivia. Daphne returned to the Scooby-Doo series, but what happened to Fred and Velma? I actually don't know. Velma became a research scientist for NASA, and Fred became a mystery novelist. Really? I thought Velma would have been the mystery novelist, and then Fred would have done something completely different. 
Huh. Well, go figure. We, we may just have to do a whole... If I ever 100% the game, we're definitely going to look at some of these uh, monster token trivia thingies. That's kind of cool. It's a neat idea to add into the game. Except now I'm trying to remember what other one we got. Oh yeah, we got this one. Let's see what this is. Who's afraid of the big bad werewolf? While camping, the game stumbles into an empty coffin. Uh, Shaggy's ancestral home is located in what town? Isn't it like somewhere in like Louisiana or something? Oh. Austria? Wait, Shaggy. Shaggy's ancestral home is Moonlight Castle in Austria. What? I did not know that. I actually did not know that. Huh, that's kind of cool. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for all the yawning. By the time I'm, the first couple episodes that will be up, um, it's the summer, and the summer is means it's very hot. And I am not a hot weather person. I'm more of a fall and winter type of person. Anyways, um, let me save one more time again. Wow, we're already 24% done with the game. Can you believe that? Anyways, uh, thank y'all so much for joining me today for another episode of Scooby-Doo Night of Hundred Frights. Um, next time we're going to see if we can get farther. So, uh, yeah, hope you all have a good one. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.